Hi, it's Kai. Number 11, Velociraptor and its prey. When most people think of fossils, they imagine them as singular creatures that have been left in the ground for tens of thousands of years. But you'd be surprised by how many fossils are discovered with more than one prehistoric beast within them, which is the case of this Velociraptor that was fossilized with the prey it was fighting. Now you might be having a flashback to how a Velociraptor looks like based on what you saw in Jurassic Park, but you need to stop thinking of these raptors like that. That's actually a misinformed representation of what they really looked like. If you can believe it, Velociraptors were actually the size of turkeys. Whether or not they were clever girls is a bit up for a debate since they were more scavengers than the predators they've been depicted as. One thing the movies did get right was that they were more than capable of going and killing things with their toes, as Velociraptors had massive toe claws, which can be seen in this fossil. So what exactly happened here with this fossil? Apparently, this Velociraptor was going up against a Protoceratops. They each dealt mighty blows to one another back and forth. So when an outside disaster struck, thought to be a collapsed sand dune in this case, not a giant asteroid quite yet, they were buried and fossilized together. Number 10, giant ant fossil. One of the most important things about fossils is that they can teach us things about life in the past that we would have never thought possible. For example, in 2011, the fossil of a winged giant ant was found. Now, when you consider the size of a regular ant, you might wonder how giant it could really be. Well, it was said to be about two inches long. And again, it could fly, so hide those picnic baskets. As if that wasn't enough, it's not like this was found in a massive jungle area or something similar. It was found in Wyoming, of all places. Too close to home, if you ask me. This ant was said to have lived about 50 million years ago and has quite a story to tell in terms of how life was affected by the climate of the time. Apparently, one of these fossils was actually known about before, yet kept in a drawer of a museum until it was shown to another scientist named Bruce Archibald who understood its significance. I immediately recognized it and said, oh my god, this is a giant ant, and it looks like it's related to giant ants that are known from about this time in Germany, he said. So just imagine if they never opened that drawer again. The ant could have stayed sealed away, and it might have taken us longer to realize just how big small insects we have now were like 50 million years ago. Number 9. The Dinosaur Nest Going back to another bizarre pose, we have a fossil found in the Gobi Desert, and needless to say, it's turned a lot of heads. Why is that? Well, the 80 million year old Oviraptor helped prove that some dinosaurs had strong parental instincts at a time when there was little evidence to support the idea. Specifically, this mother raptor was incubating its nest and apparently shielding it from nature when eventually it got buried away in the sand, leaving the fossil we observe today. When you think about dinosaurs, you often think about them as strong and powerful, and that doesn't exactly scream, we take care of our children, outside of cartoons, of course. But here, this fossil shows the story of a mother willing to die for her children instead of preserving her own life. Aww. This kind of personality shift, if you will, has gotten many people to think that dinosaurs might have even more in common with birds than previously believed. So while it may seem weird to want to find fossils like these, these are the ones that can help write the history books since they help us learn about what we didn't know about history as a whole. Number eight, the giant fossil frog from hell. Yes, that's really what they called this fossil. And if that's not a strange or bizarre way to classify something, I don't know what is. Getting back to the frog itself, you probably know that there are some pretty big frogs out there in the world, including ones like the Goliath frog that are about a foot wide in their girth. But in 2008, a team of scientists found a frog fossil in Madagascar that was even bigger than that. 
the 16-inch, 10-pound ancient frog, scientifically named Bezel Buffo, or devil frog, links a group of frogs that lived 65 to 70 million years ago with frogs living in South America today. Bezel Buffo appears to be a very close relative of a group of South American frogs known as Ceratophrys, or Pac-Man frogs, because of their immense mouths said Stony Brook University paleontologist David Krauss, whose research was funded by the National Science Foundation. The ceratophrys are known to camouflage themselves in the surroundings, then ambush predators. The findings present a real puzzle biogeographically, particularly because of the poor fossil record of frogs on southern continents, said Krauss. We're asking ourselves, what's a South American frog doing halfway around the world in Madagascar? A good question indeed, and a question that many want to find out the answer to. Oh, and if you're wondering why they called it the giant fossil frog from hell, that's because it's not just a bigger frog, it was an armored frog too. And apparently, it was a really mean predator. In other words, it was a frog you really wouldn't want to screw with. Number 7. Fish Eats Pterodactyl Try and picture the ocean as it is right now. Now imagine it with birds in the sky and fish just below the surface. In our modern times, who do you think would make a meal of which? More than likely, you would agree that birds would try to eat the fish instead of things like sharks. But in the ancient world, more often than not, it was the other way around. Because in those waters, fish and creatures were so enormous that they'd burst out of the waters with their massive size and completely devour or snatch up the bird-like creatures of the sky. Even things like pterodactyls fell victim to these predator fish. This brings us to this particular fossil because it's a special species known as Aspidorhynchus, munching on a small pterosaur called Rambodorhynchus. So where's the problem? Well, the fish literally bit off more than it could chew. The pterodactyl got stuck in the fish's mouth, causing the predator to drown, the fish starve, and a very unique fossil to be born as a result. And that, children, is why parents tell you to only eat the things you can handle. Crazy to think that these giant prehistoric fish jumped out of the ocean to eat giant prehistoric birds. Did you ever wonder just how high they could jump? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number six, baby dinosaurs. What is truly remarkable about many of these fossil stories is the fact that they happen in areas all over the world and in situations that you wouldn't expect. Such is the case in Mongolia in 2011, when a University of Rhode Island paleontologist David Fajofsky not only found a fossil of a dinosaur nest, but he found over 15 baby dinosaurs in it too. Finding juveniles at a nest is a relatively uncommon occurrence, and I cannot think of another dinosaur specimen that preserves 15 juveniles in its nest this way, he says. The nest itself was detailed as being 70 million years old and was able to give us information on the infant care given to baby dinosaurs based on how the fossils were. For example, the 15 babies were found to not just be more or less the same size, but have the same developmental growth, meaning that the parent took care of all of them at once. What a good dino mom. The species itself was one of the protoceratops, and finding a nest of them helped prove just how contradictory certain dinosaur species are compared to how we expect them to be. What we thought to be true can turn out to be entirely different to the reality these creatures lived. Number five, mammoth battle. Believe it or not, mammoth fossils are one of the most desired fossils out there and can be found in places you wouldn't believe even in Michigan. The most common thing you'll find of them is their tusks, which could have been an incredible length depending on the specimen. But this particular set of mammoth fossils found all the way back in 1962 showcases something rather unique and odd. Two mammoths fighting and getting stuck together. So how does that happen? Well, not unlike the fish fossil before it, this wasn't intentional. 
apparently two mammoths were locked into a battle and then they quite literally got stuck in their tusks and died. Researchers believe the two mammoths were likely fighting over the chance to mate with a female before the fight got ugly. And by ugly, I mean that they went straight for the kill rather than a simple victory as one of the tusk ends was embedded in the eye of the other. But again, they got stuck and likely died of starvation and definitely didn't get with the female, proving once again that macho behavior can a lot of the times lead to your doom. Number four, biggest megalodon jaw fossil. As I noted earlier, one of the biggest parts of the ancient world were the large fish species living in the waters. In terms of shark species, the biggest of them all was the almighty megalodon, which was said to be 60 feet long at times and could even be longer. Just as important though, was its mouth, which was incredibly large as one man found out. Specifically, Vito Bertucci, a jeweler turned fossil hunter who spent almost two decades searching for the massive shark teeth. What he got in the end was a massive jaw that was nine feet tall, 11 feet wide, and had teeth at times that were more than seven inches long which to be clear was a rare find indeed. On its own, that might not sound too odd, but there are two things to note here. First, spending two decades of your life trying to complete a fossil? Yeah, that's bizarre. Second, they sold it. Yeah, he put up the jaw for auction to go and be sold. Talk about respecting one's work, right? Though apparently the man's brother did say he always wanted to sell it, but could never find a buyer to afford it. We're not sure we accept that explanation, but I'll let it go. Number three, spider, wasp, amber. If you recall the opening to Jurassic Park, other than the iconic theme song, one of the key things about the whole park was that it was DNA from ancient bugs trapped in amber that helped create the dinosaurs themselves and ensure that the recreation process would work without a hitch. Well, part of that wasn't a lie, as you can find fossils of creatures trapped in amber, such is the case with this spider from 100 million years ago that went and got itself a wasp and was eating it when somehow it got encased in amber via tree sap. The fossilized amber was found in Myanmar. It's one of the only examples of a spider fossilized during a hunt. Now, according to what was found, the wasp was trying to go and eat the spider's eggs, so the spider had every right to go and kill that wasp, but still, both of them getting consumed by the tree sap at that very moment? Yeah, that's pretty bizarre. Number two, Helicoprion. It's very true that fossils are meant to be a gateway of sorts to the ancient world to help us understand things that we didn't even think of before. But sometimes there are fossils that are so strange, so odd, and so downright confusing that we're left even more in the dark than before. A perfect example of that is the Helicoprion fossil. The Helicoprion was one of many now extinct ancient sharks, but when we found this fossil, specifically the fossil of its mouth, we were, needless to say, at a loss for words. Its mouth was a buzzsaw of sorts, making it one of the most uniquely mouthed creatures in all of existence then and now. Here's the thing, because of how sharks both then and now are made in terms of their compositional makeup, they don't leave fossils outside of their teeth and jaws. So this is honestly all we have to work with to try and figure out what the Helicoprion was on, how it evolved to have such a buzzsaw for a jaw and everything that comes with that revelation. How bizarre, how bizarre. Number one, tail and feathers. Have you ever wondered why so many people think that dinosaurs had feathers on them? Well, it's because of bizarre fossils like this dinosaur tail that was also trapped in amber because as the fossil was examined, the tail was completely covered in feathers. So if the tail had feathers, the body would too, right? Just as important though, because it was trapped in amber, it's one of the best and most preserved dinosaur remains ever discovered. The evidence suggests the tail might belong to a soda, which is a bipedal theropod creature. If more bizarre fossils like these are discovered, we might just be able to get a better glimpse into the true looks and lives of dinosaurs. 
Thanks for watching. What did you think of this look at the fossils that have been discovered that are incredibly bizarre and unique in ways that no one likely expected? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Bye.